What's up guys, Dark Ruler here aka Blackheart909. Today we're going to be checking out Metaphor Refantasio on the Steam Deck OLED uh, with and without LSFG. So this game is an absolute joy to behold on the OLED screen. Now I am playing with one addi two additional mods actually. We have better anti-aliasing and we also have the ultra wide slash full screen fix. So now we're running at a native um, 800p with 21 by 9 as the aspect ratio so let's look at the performance let's also go to low first in terms of performance set that and see how we run in the city so this is low settings we're getting 34 percent i do have my steam deck under -volted and slightly overclocked which lets me go up in frequency for cpu and gpu uh, there is a guide on my channel a short guide which is under three minutes on how you guys can do that uh, let me know below and i'll link it in the description if you're interested but yeah low settings we're getting 42 fps in the city area so i'm just gonna go ahead and switch it to high settings first so what does this do? It is, it usually just basically adjusts the texture quality, and uh, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna switch to FXAA because I've heard FXAA has better coverage in terms of anti-aliasing, and uh, I don't think that's true. Like if you look here, you can see some aliasing. So let's go ahead and change that back to SMAA. Um, graphics okay SMAA this is probably the version of the game most of you guys are used to that's not too much of an improvement but it does look better and um, now I'm gonna show you how it runs with lossless scaling and then we'll run around a little bit so in terms of latency right now there's uh, pretty much 33 milliseconds of latency we'll talk to the shady woman later okay actually let's just talk to her now she has nothing to say. We're running between 30 and 42 FPS, but what happens when we turn on lossless killing? Now, this game is on sale currently, it's 40% off, which is why I decided to purchase it, because I'm traveling soon and I wanna have something I could play for a long time on the plane. I have two power banks, one 20,000 milliamp hour and the other is 10,000, so, I should be able to play this in a seven hour journey to Birmingham. But now running with 2X, um, 2X LFG, we get around 60 FPS, a nice tough block to 60 FPS, which is good, but it could be better. So we're staying around 60, 70 FPS. Latency is almost non-existent and motion clarity and fluidity is preserved. Um, I think with this game's art style, you don't really notice pretty much anything in terms of artifacting from lossless scaling. So this is a really good use case. In fact, it's such good of a use case that I think we should be able to go ahead and do 3x so we can run close to 90 FPS. And at 3x, <coughs> again, very little artifacting from lossless scaling and the game runs really well so i'm just gonna run around town a little bit we're playing the game maxed out uh, with the mods installed so you can see that we have additional screen real estate which is great we're using the whole 16 by 10 aspect ratio of the steam deck oled and we're, we're running at around 110 fps of course that's uh, a few generated frames I have played this game beyond this point before, but then I uh, I switched up and made some changes to the platform I'm playing it on, and now I'm repeating the story from the beginning. So I think I'm I'm losing I'm losing like ten hours of progress or something like that. But it's okay. I forgot the story. It's been so long since I played it. Okay. 
So this much, this is pretty much the maxed out experience. Um, and aside from the fake frames, which shouldn't really bother you too much to be honest, it's not really fake frame, fake frame, fake frames. It's just generated frames with minimal latency. Honestly, for a game like this, I can't even tell that I'm running frame gen on it. When I do travel, I might play this game with a service like GeForce Now, and while I'm at home, I'm probably gonna play it with my PC, streaming it to my Steam Deck, my uh, Moonlight, and Apollo on my PC. If you want help uh, setting that up or like looking at benchmarks of that using a 5080, leave a comment down below and I'll do that. Guys, if you watched it this far into the video, thank you so much for your time and uh, I really, really appreciate it. If you'd like to support the channel, a like would be great. Maybe subscribe and uh, comment down below what games you'd want me to t test. I'm open to testing a lot of games. Okay, so we're at 80 FPS right now, and that probably means we're running at somewhere around um, 75. That's probably like 20 FPS if we disable lossless scaling. Although this does have a performance cost, so let's see what it looks like without lossless scaling. Okay, 33 FPS. So you could also have a pretty good time by just locking this game from settings, display settings to. 30 FPS. Okay. And now we have a nice smooth 30 FPS lock. Some disturbances in the frame time. But what happens if we. Oh, yeah, look, that's 27 FPS, 28. So I definitely recommend unlocking the FPS. basically uncapped, save this, and from here I would suggest going into lossless scaling, not decky for engine, this game doesn't support that because there's no DLSS, I'm just doing 3x in here. Now you could also limit the frame rate from um, from Decky from from the Lost and Scaling app. Excuse me. So I'll just go ahead and save now. And let's see how that works out. So we'll go down here, Lost and Scaling. But it does require a restart. So let's see if we can actually save some battery life with this. Okay, let's quickly just take that test that theory out and then we can come to a conclusion on this video. So now my final steps are to look at if we get a 90 FPS lock. And it looks like it's been pretty effective, honestly. Latency is minimal. We're hovering around 90 FPS, a few spikes above that, and also a few spikes below that, but this is probably one of the most demanding areas in this game. Back to the recruitment center, it should be up there. 80, 90 FPS, and that should also save us some bad battery life because base FPS is running at 30, which is awesome. So let's just see the performance in a cinematic. There is a little bit of blurring, I think, that LSFG adds. Again, the OLED screen combined with the rest of the game is just awesome. 
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, I hope you found this video useful. Check out the game, it's on sale right now on Steam, 40% off. Uh, and Dark Color, aka Blackheart909, signing off.